Right now, the city of Detroit is looking to hire more lifeguards for its public pools. And participants can even get paid for training. Well, I learned about this push to hire more lifeguards during our In Your Neighborhood series at Adams Butzel Rec Center this month. So I called staff to follow up and get some details for you. Take a look. They're the alert eyes covering swimmers and actions at every Detroit City pool. And now there's a push to hire more lifeguards across the city. If you're able bodied to do it, we're welcoming anybody. Michael Williams is a manager with the Detroit's General Services Department Recreation Division. He rose through the ranks after starting out as a lifeguard in his community. There's a sense of comfort knowing that somebody's there to look over you because you never know what could happen when you're in the water. Williams says the city's at a point where more trained lifeguards are needed across its public pool sites. But right now, because we're so low on lifeguard, everybody's working eight-hour shifts, and some of them are working more. Lifeguard shortages could potentially mean reduced pool hours, even closures. That's not something the city nor its staff wants to do. Not at all, and the fact that we've had to do it has really uh, put a strain on the community as a whole in regards to having that access during that time frame, but because we only have so many lifeguards, we had to condense hours at some locations. The city of Detroit is currently training lifeguards 18 and up and junior lifeguards ages 16 and 17. It's a 10-week process. Participants must be able to complete a variety of tasks. The training is free itself. And not only that, the caveat to that is the city has chosen to say, if you can complete a certain amount of skills, right, during the training time, uh, when, you, when you go to uh, show your training, we'll hire you. Williams believes becoming a lifeguard is beneficial and not only for the participant. Just to know that, you know, you're there to take care of the community. All right, so I found out the next round of lifeguard training sessions begins March 19th. Now, you can contact the General Services Department, Parks and Recreation Division for more details. I've also added that information under this story at clickondetroit.com.